Right. Here's the um, oil filter out of the frame. Just using petrol. Give it a good wash off. Here, the sludge in here. Don't clean the outside. If you clean the inside, because I'm going to keep all this and uh, strain it, see if there's any bits. And he's, uh, that's cracked. So I'm going to have to get a new one. So I'll find a strainer and replace it. But I'll have to get a new one. Use an airline to blow that out if you got one. And this is the one out the um, engine. The gasket saying No bits. If you put a magnet in a plastic bag, you can see if there's any steel in it. The copper sealing washer, I'll anneal that. That's just the oil cap. I stood that up in like that to drain, then this would collect the bits. There's none in, so that's all right. Maybe that'll do. I'll strain this, see if there's any bits in it. Um, there's some plugs damaged on man. Now it's 716th Whitworth. It's still a reasonable fit, but slack. But what I did, I cleaned it up so I can actually hammer on a 20mm now. It's a lot tighter, but I'll have to replace it one day, <laughs> when it rounds off. No bits in that, so I'm quite chuffed for what's come out of the engine up there now. And now I'm going to uh, just filter it out to a t-shirt. It'll give us some idea what the engine's like. <clears throat> Again, if I use a magnet, I can see if there's any uh, steel in it. Quite a lot. Yeah, there you go. That's steel. So, so much wearing. <laughs> cams, because it's starting to rattle. I've got to set the cams to go in it. So there's plenty of steel in it. I'll put that one side, just to check. Yeah, definitely steel. I'll take the, yeah, I'll take the magnet out of the back. Yeah, it should come off fairly easy. There we have it. Yeah. So that's come out the engine. Look at that. So it's come off summit. Cams, crank. I'll have to do my sludge trap. 